For centuries, humans have used animals in their countless wars. Horses, camels, and war elephants were forced as necessary participants in the successful military campaigns of ancient times. But with the beginning of the 20th century, the mockery of animals for military purposes not only didn't stop, but became more sophisticated. In the early 90s, the TV channel CBS talked about an experiment that was conducted by the military at Louisiana State University. The goal of the experiment was to find a drug that would help the recovery of soldiers with severe head injuries. In the experiment, they used 700 cats that scientists took turns shooting through the head. The cats were placed on this table with their heads in this vise. Preliminary incisions were made in their skulls so that the small pellets of the air gun hit exactly in the brain of each cat. No cure was found. And all that the scientists learned in the course of the study is that when you shoot a cat in the head, it feels pain. On this experiment, they spent $2 million. But the problem is not limited to violent experiments of this kind. Armies and special services of the United States, Russia, and China, whose total annual defense budget is almost a trillion dollars, continue to spend limitless resources on training and surgical modifications of animals. In this video, you're going to learn about the dubious success in trying to make animals a universal weapon. During World War II, the Soviet Union used specially trained dogs against Nazi Germany's tanks. The training process was simple. At first, the dog was deprived of food. Then they made her believe that food could only be found under the tank. In real combat conditions, the dog was specifically stopped from being fed a few days before the mission itself. And at the right moment, a bomb with 26 pounds of TNT was attached to it and a detonator and released towards the enemy tank. Of course, the tanks, gunshots, and explosions scared the dogs. But if they refused to run out on the battlefield with a bomb on their back, they would simply be left hungry. Dolphins are much more capable of learning. Dolphins continue to be used by the naval forces of Russia, the United States, and even Ukraine to this day. Their military trains them to attach floating explosive devices to the air tanks of enemy divers. And during the Iraq campaign in 2003, dolphins helped the U.S. Navy detect sea mines and clear the way for ships with humanitarian aid. But the Soviet anti-tank dogs were still less successful. According to Soviet sources, the dogs hit about 300 tanks from Nazi Germany. However, very quickly, the German command ordered every soldier to shoot any dog that appeared in their field of vision. Even Luftwaffe fighter pilots were required to hunt dogs. In addition, many dogs simply got out of control. They sought to return to the location of the Soviet troops and put their own commanders in danger. By 1942, the use of anti-tank dogs had ceased. But crazy ideas about using animals as weapons continue to haunt the minds of the military and scientists. When dentist surgeon Dr. Little S. Adams went on a hiking trip to the caves of the southwestern United States and was impressed by the grace of the flight of the bats that lived there, he asked a perfectly logical question that would have immediately occurred to any adequate person. Can a large number of bats be equipped with incendiary bombs and be dropped from airplanes? A U.S. Army project codenamed X-Ray was to release thousands of bats equipped with napalm charges in Japan. Dr. Adams suggested artificially putting the bats into hibernation and attaching a small napalm charge to each of them then put the animals in a huge empty bomb that could be dropped from an airplane by parachute. At a certain height, the bomb was supposed to open. Then, suddenly awakened by the gusts of wind, the bats would fly in different directions in fear. Dr. Adams imagined that after the bats landed on houses and trees in Japan, 
small charges of napalm would explode, causing deadly fires. The effect of the fire during the operation was supposed to be 10 times greater than the effect of a conventional bombardment. The Japanese military was not inferior to the American military, but they used insects as weapons of mass destruction. Fleas, flies, and beetles were infected with plague and cholera, and they also dropped them with bombs over densely populated areas. In the year 2002, the International Symposium of Historians found that as a result of the operations of the Japanese army, about 440,000 Chinese citizens died. But the American Project X-Ray, after a short test at a military base in New Mexico, was then cancelled. A few bats came out of hibernation early and escaped. As a result, the military hangar and even the general's car were burned to the ground. But why can't animal welfare organizations stop or at least draw serious attention to this madness? As an example, let's look at such a public organization as PETA. Compared to the trillions of dollars that can be spent in part on animal experiments, the budget of their defenders for the year 2020 was only 66.3 million. And all of this is mainly the result of unstable voluntary donations. In one of their videos, they evoke the sympathy of the audience by combining footage of animals being exploited with footage of animals being cared for, trying to explain a simple thing to potential abusers. All living beings deserve equal respect. You and I are sympathetic to this, but the military is more likely to suggest the idea, can we really combine and modify animals? A CIA project codenamed Acoustic Kitty. It was launched during the Cold War in the 60s to help the United States spy on the Kremlin. The development of the project lasted five years. According to Victor Marchetti, a former CIA officer who revealed facts about the operation, the idea was for a veterinary surgeon to create a spy cat, turning an ordinary cat into a stray sound device. A cat was cut open and an audio recording device was placed inside its stomach Special wires were stretched to its ears and to its brain. If the cat was hungry or sexually aroused, a current ran through the wires that could suppress these urges. Unfortunately, the experiment went a little wrong. As soon as the scars healed, the cat was sent outside to eavesdrop on a conversation for the first time. When this poor little creature started to walk across the road, it forgot to look around. A passing taxi ran over it, killing it. According to Marchetti, the cost of this project was about $25 million, almost half of the annual budget of the human rights organization PETA. As you can see, the main problem of creating a universal weapon from an animal lies in the fact that animals are not able, and do not have to, clearly follow the orders of the military. However, the People's Liberation Army of China and scientists from Germany and Japan may be on the way to solving this problem. In the year 2014, China supplemented its air force with a detachment of military macaques. According to Chinese state media reports, the macaques are meant to protect military bases from birds. Migrating birds have settled in nests in the trees around the bases and very often, they fly into the engines of aircraft that are landing and taking off. The consequences of such collisions can be disastrous. According to the Chinese military, they managed to teach macaques to find and destroy bird nests, and also scare away and attack birds on command. These poor animals still don't understand why they're forced to hunt birds. Therefore, after successfully completing the mission, the commander of the Commando Monkey Squad still has to reward each of them with a piece of apple. But can the military create an animal that will follow orders consciously? 
scientists from Germany and Japan, under the leadership of Wieland Huttner from the Max Planck Institute for Molecular Cell Biology and Genetics, enlarged the brains of apes by combining them with human genes in an experiment reminiscent of the planet of the apes. Experts took a gene that controls stem cells in the human brain and placed it in the brains of ordinary monkeys. The modified monkey brain doubled in size in about 101 days of pregnancy. As a result, the ape fetus already had a larger, more developed, and more human-like brain. However, the experiment was abruptly suspended. According to Wielan Huttner, in light of the possible unintended consequences, scientists considered it necessary from an ethical point of view first to determine how exactly the crossing of genes affects the postpartum development of the monkey fetus. Humanoid intelligence is the only obstacle in the way of the military to creating a universal weapon from an animal. And while scientists working in the public sector have been stopped by ethics issues, the military, with their secret laboratories in Moscow, Beijing, and Langley, won't be stopped by anything. And they certainly won't be deterred by attempts to push for pity. But what if we could still send the military a message that they would definitely receive, understand, and accept? For example, something like this. How can we determine which animals will die during an experiment and which will survive and become excellent spies? Which kind of animals should we send against tanks? And what kind should we send against birds? What kind of crazy military experiments can you spend millions of dollars for? And on which ones can you spend billions? The answer has been found. The military needs a project that is both super absurd and super expensive. You need an animal that is both super dangerous and almost immortal. To create it, you'd need to use the best minds in both the field of cloning and in the field of crossbreeding. If you still don't know what I'm talking about, I have two words for you. T-Rex and Megalodon. This hybrid would be able to walk on land and run underwater. And if you added a human brain gene to it, then he himself would learn to shoot and eavesdrop on other people's conversations. Yes, not only would he not follow orders, but he would surely kill his creators. But when has common sense stopped the military? Share this video on social networks and spread the hashtag. The military is very smart on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. You can be sure that no one's ever used such a hashtag before. Therefore, by clicking on it, people will find only this video. And representatives of military organizations certainly won't resist the temptation to click it. Especially if, thanks to you, they see this hashtag in the comments on their official pages. And don't forget to write to me. Do you agree that all living beings deserve equal respect?